What goes into a mint julep is, first and foremost, is a good premium bourbon. Greg Davis knows how to make a great mint julep. Being the official drink of the Kentucky Derby, it's a must-have this time of year. But before we get to that drink recipe, we need to learn more about its key ingredient, Kentucky bourbon. 1792 is the year Kentucky became a state. And with Kentucky being the bourbon state, we really wanted to focus our specialty brand and our premium product for what Kentucky is known about bourbon. The thoroughbred industry, uh, they have also been around just as long as we have, and the Kentucky Derby has been around. It is like a national holiday for us. Uh, that first Saturday in May signifies that uh, horse racing is here, and we're gonna showcase what Kentucky is really about. And this is our original spring that our founding father, Tom Moore, started his distillery with back in 1879. From here, we've just moved approximately about 100 yards down the hillside a little bit more from where our distillery sits to this day. Well, we're standing here in Warehouse Z, which is the home of Ridgemont Reserve 1792. Warehouse Z sits on our highest location here in Bardstown. What does that mean to your bourbon? We get a lot of airflow, and it's the breathing of the barrel. It's that alcohol expanding into the wood and pulling out all those flavors, extracting out all those sugars. The barrel gives the bourbon 50% of its flavor. It gives it 100% of its color. One of the reasons we get such a very smooth profile is the fact that we age it eight years. Specifically, what we're after for that long term is we're after what's called a whiskey lactone or an oak lactone. That is a coconut flavor. And just like vanilla is kind of like to the food industry, we're after that coconut flavor out of that wood because it brings everything together. It helps to round it and make that body very smooth, very even, very balanced. We use a very high percentage of rye and malted barley in 1792. Now, what does rye do for your bourbon? Forget what you know about making rye bread. We're not making bread, we're making bourbon here. Rye provides that real nice ripe fruit character. There's not one flavor that overpowers the next. Everything flows together. What we're doing now is we're getting ready to remove the bung in a very traditional fashion before power tools. And again, you know, you gotta remember, we've been around for over 127 years. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the barrel let the alcohol slosh up on the bung. What we're trying to do is we're trying to wet the bung. We're sweating that bung so that as I prepare to take this hammer, that bung will eventually just pop right out. Now it will take a couple of hits to knock that out and again, that's what we're doing is we're wetting that bung or we're sweating it by rolling that barrel back and forth, prepping it to come out. And believe it or not, this is the way these guys have done it for years before me and will continue to preserve this traditional technique for time and time again. We're in our barrel dump room right now. As you can see, the man behind me is working on drilling out the bung. You see, we've automated just a little bit over the time. He sticks our air tubes in, and as the barrel comes forward, it begins to rotate over, and all the alcohol begins to pour out. Now that we've learned the story behind the bourbon, let's get back to that mint julep recipe, shall we? We're gonna start out with about two ounces of bourbon, 1792. Then we're gonna mix up probably two cups of uh, simple sugar, simple syrup, and make sure that you put it over crushed ice. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna take a little sprig of mint, and you're gonna kinda of wanna bruise it up. You don't wanna mash it up, you just wanna bruise it up a little bit and then you're gonna sprinkle that with powdered sugar. You'll put a straw in there, but you'll only cut the straw just barely above the mint sprig so that every time you go down to take a sip, you'll smell that nice mint sprig, and it'll also have just a very small hint of mint in that uh, nice, very smooth product that we call a mint julep. You always heard the term, it's a sipping whiskey, and that's the key thing. Everything in moderation, and you sip it to enjoy it, allowing it to sit on your palate for a few seconds, allow the flavors to develop, and really see what really is actually there, what makes that bourbon so special. If it's a really hot day, it'll be bourbon on the rocks. If it's a nice cool day, it's neat all the way. 